Hey there! In the past, I show you how to keep yourself company with some virtual pets while coding VS Code. This time, I'll show you something different. How to play games like Snake, Sudoku or Tetris directly in VS Code. This is possible because VS Code is built on web technologies like Electron. This means that anything that runs in a browser, HTML, CSS and JavaScript can run in VS Code too, including games. Before we get started, I would like to thank everyone who supports this channel, especially the 2.19k subscribers. Your support helps me continue creating straight-to-the-point tutorials. Alright, let's get started. I will start with probably one of the most well-known types of games of all time, which is Snake. The Snake game genre started with the release of the arcane game Blockade, developed by Gremlin and launched in 1976. Blockade inspired hundreds of similar games, including the famous Snake game released by Nokia in 1998. Games you can play in VS Code are actually extensions and are fun recreations. They are not real emulations of the original games. That being said, let's install Visual Snake code and see how we can play it. Press Ctrl Shift P or Command Shift P on macOS, then type Visual Snake code, run this command, and then you can control the snake using W, S, A, and D keys. And when the game is over and you want to restart, make sure to place the carrot outside the lines generated by the game, such as line 25 in my case. Because if you don't do that, then the game doesn't uh, know your input, as you can see here. I'm pressing space inside the text generated by the extension and the game doesn't restart and once i place a carrot outside this area the game restarts let's move on to a very popular game among chrome users who suddenly lost internet access which is a dinosaur game it was developed by google in 2014 and in 2018 it was revealed that about 270 million games were played monthly. To play this game, you don't need VS Code. You either disconnect from the internet or more easily use a Chromium-based browser and go to this URL. But since we are talking about VS Code, you can install the Chrome Dinosaur Game extension. After that, click this dinosaur icon in the activity bar, press the start button, and then have fun. Next up is Sudoku, a logic-based number puzzle where you fill a grid so that each row, column and region contains, in most cases, the 1 to 9 digits, without repeating. Fun fact, the game is so captivating for some that in June 2008, an Australian drug-related jury trial costing over 1 million Australian dollars was aborted when it was discovered that some of the 12 jurors had been playing Sudoku instead of listening to the evidence. Well, coming back to VS Code, to play this game, you can install the Sudoku game extension. And after that, click this Sudoku icon in the activity bar, and then have fun. Another game that is well known and is still played by millions of people in various shapes and forms is Tetris. Tetris was created by Alexei Leonidovich Pajitnov in 
85 and it was inspired by Pentomino puzzle games. To play this game, you can install the Tetris game extension by Xiao Feng or the Tetris extension by Harry Hopkinson. For this example, I will go with the first one. Install the extension and then go to the Tetris icon in the activity bar and then start the game. Next one on the list is Escape the Maze by Ivan Mota. To play this game, you can install the Escape the Maze VS Code game extension. Then open the File Explorer and Escape the Maze should be the last tab on the left menu. For info, you are playing as a chicken and you have to traverse a series of randomly generated mazes. You have to drag to visualize the force that will be applied to the chicken and then release the mouse to apply the force. As you can see, I'm pretty bad at this game. Anyway, <laughs> the arrow button at the bottom right of the screen marks the exit. And last but not least, the sixth and final game on the list is Doom. Because why not? If you can run Doom in Notepad, why shouldn't you be able to run it in VS Code too? So to play Doom, you can install the VS Code Doom extension. And then press Ctrl Shift P or Command Shift P on Mac OS and execute the open doom command. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the games are not running through an emulator. In uh, Doom's case, it runs using WebAssembly. Alright, that's it for today. I hope this video sparked your curiosity to explore using VS Code for more than just coding. Thanks for sticking around and sharing a bit of that old school nostalgia with me. If you enjoyed this video, consider checking out the other tutorials on this channel. Wishing you a wonderful day and I look forward to catching you in the next one.